Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play Raido Kusanoha vs. King Abaddon. In the last episode, we continue making our way through the Tento Sanctuary and fought it against a giant bug. A very giant bug, actually. That was fun. Okay, so uh, let's fix this here. Ugh. What's down here? Okay, looks like we got an exit and a wind tunnel. North Annex. Okay, where I, where does this lead me on the map? Ah, right here. Neat. Okay, so another shortcut has been unlocked. Head back inside and continue onwards. Because I doubt that uh, wind tunnel is actually the way, way that we're supposed to go. Right as soon as I enter, too. That's funny. Skill demon's extra effective. I don't care. Wow, I'm scared of the dwarves. I'm really scared of the dwarves. Goodbye, cow. Goodbye, dwarf. Actually, no, they're not dwarves. These are... I think there's a, these are actually supposed to be leprechauns. Or some for some form of for, for bleh, some form of forest sprite. Holy shit, that's hard to say. Zombie lady found something. Oh hey, lifestone. Let's go out to Ginza sometime. Well I would if it was actually open. Oh great, Nuckos. My favorite. Hello, Neko. Wow, you got really pretty eyes. You're not gonna hit on me, are you? No, Neko, I love you. Why would I hit on you? You should take love more seriously. I don't trust a man who doesn't have respect for true love. Uh. Do you like debates? Nope. Thanks for the, uh, smacking. I love it when a woman smacks me so much. Yes, I do. You, now you want to do that again? Screw you, I'm not going anywhere near your charm bullshit. Oh boy. Having someone constantly heal is annoying. Oh hey, she got stunned. Oh, what's this? You're on your knees begging for your life after smacking me in the face? Not so tough, are ya? Get out of here, you stupid cat. Yay, I got a Neko free of charge. And all it took was beating the shit out of her. It's a good thing she's a demon, otherwise I'd be arrested for fucking abuse. So what the hell is this? Dude, seriously? Do you really need to draw the sword? First off, thanks for coming. What's that? Right, oh, I conjecture that this process has all been to view the large secret object behind Dawn. No shit, Nagi, you don't say. 
Really, I cannot believe that. At all. It's not like the giant circular object is right in front of my own eyeballs. I see why Giren, uh, has some issues with you beyond, uh, what just recently happened. Because holy shit, your power of observation is impeccable, Nagi. And if you couldn't tell, that was fucking sarcasm. What the fuck? You think I can't see? You think I'm blind? Ah, so you noticed it, Nagi? Good eye! <laughs> I'm gonna bitch slap the both of you. Take a gander, Rido. Here it is. The last of the three things came here to see. Looks like an egg. It's called the... Uh, How am I supposed to pronounce that? The Pochitwan? Tron? Wan? Pochitwan? Whatever. That's the luck locust nest. When a luck locust has eaten all the luck it can stomach, brings that luck back to this here Pojawan. So, uh, in theory, there's a large store of luck inside the. Yeah, I, there's no way I know how to pronounce that damn word. Then, in the process of releasing the luck locust within the bounds of the capital, the Pojawan is, in theory, full of all those people's luck. That's right! You always were a sharp cookie, Nagi. I brought the Luck Locus out to the capital in preparation for a certain day that's coming. See, Rido, I know now. Before too long, there will be a whole bunch of them falling from the sky. Huge bugs. <laughs> the destroyers. When this here Pojawan becomes a perfect sphere, that's the day they'll fall from the sky. And that's why I'm having all the luck locusts eat their full. These destroyer insects, Fukuoshi like me can control them. Sure Sundays. After all, I'm strong, I'm smart, and I'm good looking to boot. I'm Don Sukigata, and you have a fucking ego as well. Got that right, oh, get the wax out of your ears and listen up. I'm talking about destroyer bugs that stop at nothing, and the king who controls them. That's what I'm aiming to become. That's King Abaddon. Destroyer insects, their ruler is King Abaddon. So that's what Don was talking about before. Hey yeah, boy. I must have looked mighty fine. Sometimes I scare myself. <laughs> Wait, if King Abaddon is the ruler of the destroyer insects, by what process would that help save Akane? The bugs us Fukuoshi used to kill folks come from the Tento Lords. We get them in exchange for the Suki God Daughters. So the A Fukuoshi clan can't say boo to the Tento Lords. We gotta keep on their good sides. Else our supply of the bugs would dry up and the Fukuoshi would be done for. Nothing's more important to me than saving Akane, but I still got the Suki God and livelihood to consider. Well, that's right. The process of angering the Tento Lords will put Tsukigawa Village's future outside our conjecture. That's why I aim to cut out the middleman. I'll replace the Tento Lords as the village god. You see, I heard from a certain Tento that these destroyer insects... They're the servants of that great Ma the Tento all worship. So when I become King Abaddon, I'll be the same rank as Great Ma. Which puts me above the Tento Lords, don't it? And when that happens... They don't have any choice but to listen to me, to King Abaddon. Now, Rado, I know it's your job to protect the capital. And yeah, I've been taking their look without permission, so I figured I'd talk this over with you. That's another reason I called you out here. I hate to ask favors of anyone, but... You think you could look the other way, just this once? For Akane and Tsukigata Village? Please? You want me to turn my back on my job? Oh. Oh. Now here's an interesting thing. If we say, alright, we actually get lawful points. If we say no, 
we get chaos points, which is weird. You think it'd be reverse? Because if we say no to him, we're basically saying we're not abandoning our post. Therefore, we are adhering to the law and order of structure. And so, therefore, lawful. But if we ag agree with him, we are abandoning our post. Okay, sure, backwards logic. Oh, wait, it's not backwards logic. It's based on whether or not you are actually being sympathetic or not. That's that's the main law and chaos order alignment here. Not the usual shit, usual stick. You think I can look the other way? Not for this. Hell no. Ugh, maybe I was expecting too much. Hoping you and me can see eye to eye on this one. Your job is to protect him, and my plan calls for him to die. No way around that, Mr. Devil Summoner. I think you've seen everything you need to see here at the Tento Sanctuary. I'm headed out. Righto, Don's within arm's reach. We can't let a chance like this slip away. Nagi, can you give us a hand? We're taking Don in. Nagi. I'll give it to you straight. There's no point trying to catch me. After all, the luck of everyone in the capital is on my side. An earthquake? What bad timing. You see, that's the kind of lucky fella that I am. Righto. I'll be seeing you again, won't I? At the marriage ritual? Whatever sis and dad might have told you. I ain't letting Akane end up like that. You might have got the best of me at Narita's, but if you get in my way one more time... And you and me are gonna go out until one of us drops. See you around. Well, that's just great. What happened back there, Nagi? You seemed hesitant. I thought about it, but it would begin a process whose end I cannot conjecture. If Don stops the marriage ritual, then in theory, Akane won't have to be sacrificed. But the next step in that process would be the Tento Lords abandoning Sukigata Village. Akane knows this. It's why she took it upon herself to hire you. So that the marriage ritual would continue for her village's sake. I don't have enough evidence to support either theory anymore. Whether we should proceed with the ritual or allow Don to stop it. Which in theory is best for Akane. Let's see, what's the best for Akane? Proceeding with the ritual or stopping the ritual? Hmm. Well... Times are changing, the time has passed. We, the Fukuoshi of the Sugiyata clan do not need to be assassins these days. Therefore, them losing the power of a bunch of insect people underground isn't the worst thing in the world. Now, funnily enough, this conversation here <laughs> can give you a lot of law or chaos points based on how you answer it. And it gets, and it's kind of confusing. But yeah, no, we're stopping the ritual. I see, your theory is that she may not have her own best interests at heart. Is that, forgive me for stepping out of my bounds, but do you say that as a devil summoner? Or do you say that as Johei? Ah, do we say it as a devil summoner or as ourselves? See, the devil summoner is a job. And that job is to protect the capital. We're saying this as our own fucking person here, damn god damn it. And that means, since we said both of the bot- since we're doing both of the bottom options, we're stopping the ritual, and we're saying that as ourselves. So your theory is to act according to your own feelings in a given situation. Perhaps so. It's hard to believe that one who has forgotten human emotion can protect the people. And in theory, Akane is one of those people you're sworn to protect. But I... I can't. This 
This is beyond the bounds of my conjecture. Right, oh, I can't do it. Chapter 3, end! And with that, I just gained a shit ton of chaos points. <laughs> Record my investigation? Yes. Chapter 4, let's go! Now we start doing a bunch of side missions. Mainly because ending at... Chapter 4, Prelude to Abaddon! We've pinpointed the reason why Don won't use his assassin train to bump off Lord Tento. After all, if he really wanted to stop a communist member, that would be the most direct method. So there must be a reason why he hasn't done it. It also explains why he wants to become King Abaddon. To assume the mantle, Don needs to look locusts that were released in the capital. After checking up on the capital to make sure King Abaddon hasn't done any damage there, we decided to focus on Lord Tento. Oof. We may have sparked Don's decision to become King Abaddon. With some help from Nagi, we got through the centipede road to Tento Kagura, where Don was waiting. We chased him to an underground area below Suki Gata Village and met some strange looking creatures. But those creatures were actually the god of Suki Gata Village and Akane's groom to be. Lord Tento, or as we've taken to calling them, the Tento Lords. There, Don showed us the tragic fates of the Tsukiga daughters. After Nagi left, we returned to the Fukuoku Inn, still digesting the things we've seen. Ah, we still have to inform Narumi of everything that's happened. Hello! So what have we got here? True identity of Lord Tento, or should I say the Tento Lords, living under Sukigata Village. Secret of the Marriage Ritual, Akane's horrific future, and the symbiotic relationship between Sukigata Village and the Tento Lords. Oh, that's all way, way too much to digest. Let's go over it bit by bit. I want to review everything we know systematically in an investigational meeting. You up for it, Rido? Sure. Alright, then let's get down to brass tacks. The Fukuroku Inn doesn't have coffee, so I poured some tea instead. Oh, I it better be strong tea. First, the place beneath Tsukugai Village is the Tento Sanctuary, right? That's where those creepy deformed things live. Those deformed things are important to Tsukugata. What are they? The Tento Lords. Yeah, you told me that before. Lord Tento, that's what they call the groom of the Sukigai clan, daughters and the village god. But you and me know the truth. The Tento are disfigured people who were driven out of the village because of their looks. From the bride's point of view, I don't want to marry one of those. That's a cruel fate, no two ways about it. But you can't refuse to go through with the ritual. The Sukigai clan and Lord Tento have a certain understanding. Which is the actual reason for the marriage ritual. The Tsukiya clan offers their stars to Lord Tento, and in exchange, they get something from their god. What was it again? Well, technically, it's Fukuoshi. Hey, are you saying Lord Tento actually creates the Fukuoshi? Whew. Don't say that too loud around the Sukigata or they get on your case something fierce. Although you're not far off base in a way, if you consider what a Fukuoshi actually does. Think about it again, would you please, Raido? Yeah, 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 it's Luck Locus. Right, you mentioned the Luck Locus here, but... All the insects the Fukuoshi use in their assassinations come directly from Lord Tento, don't they? Uh, the Fukushi clan has deep ties to these so-called Tento. It's old news to me, too. People feared the Fukushi clan because no one even knew how they carried out their assassinations. Their techniques have been shrouded in mystery for who knows how long. But the Tento clan is capable of creating insects whose powers on par with your demons. Everything falls into place. Those disfigured people, him from the public eye, they're the key. 
The insects are the tools of the Fukuoshi's trade. Without them, their livelihood is sunk. And as for Lord Tento, marrying the Tsuki god Dar is essential that they want to leave offspring. Offspring. Offspring! God, that's hard to say sometimes. In other words, this is how their arrangement goes. The A. Fukuoshi clan and Lord Tento, or rather the Tento lords, scratch each other's backs. And to keep the deal sweet, there has to be a contract of some sort. The marriage ritual. We've got this Mosa sword out now, so I think we can join this meeting. It'll work, Rado. Okay, is trying to carry on with the marriage ritual for the sake of her village. She knows how important the relationship with the Tento Lords is to her village's future. Dawn's out to break up the wedding for his sister's sake, and as for the rest of Tsukigata village. I bet he figures if he can steal the Tento Lord's thunder as a god, he can do away with the ritual. His vision for the Tsukigata village's future is one without the sacrifice of their daughters. It's a tough road to hoe. Akane accepts the status quo for what it is, while Don is determined to shake it up. It's not about right or wrong. They both see themselves as doing what's necessary for the future. If it was up to you, Raido, how would you do it? How would you work towards building a future? Work within the system, or try to smash it and make something new? Which would you pick? Things are what they are. Things have to be better. <laughs> oh my! Now this is just fucking f you can really- Now this cannot be more fucking nail on the head as it is. Law, chaos. Things have to be better. God damn. The status quo is great if you actually benefit from it. But if you don't, then everything has to have a better method. Has to have a better way. There has to be, otherwise you're squirreling around in the dirt for someone else this is amusement. <laughs> you got ambition, I see. Things have to be better. I'm sure Don would agree. Intent to our worship as gods in Sukigata, but they were driven out by the same people for the looks. Whatever the future holds for our county, I feel sorry for becoming one of those things, brides. But what Don's trying to do to put a stop to it, whatever this King Abaddon thing is about. We can't forget that he released the Luck Locust into the capital. Let's keep an eye on what Don's up to. Let's see. Tento revealed. Truth of the Ritual. Who's King Abaddon Part 2? Alright, I almost forgot to tell you. Akajiro called us before you got back. We wanted to talk about the job. Let's go see him when you're ready. I'll come with. Yeah! We won't be doing that for a while. Of course, that's assuming I'm allowed to actually, you know, leave. Ooh, Buck Collector. Well, let's see. Well, I got my camera, so I can actually do things now. Don't know what this is. All right, let's go, Rado. Okay. We're now in chapter four, fantastic. Now then. We have a new fiend available for us to fight now. And this time we're going up against the Red Rider. Oh God. Holy dingus. So what moon phase, uh... It doesn't say, so I'm guessing all of the uh, fiends show up on the new moon. Which actually works in my favor. Uh, we actually want to head back to the detective agency. That way I can just fast travel back to the capital. Yeah, yeah, I have to pay the fucking tax. Hmm. 
Another quake. Doesn't seem funny that there's been so many. Yeah, it's a bit suspicious. Need to find out what's causing that and stop it fast. Konoya! It's been a while, old man. I got things I need to buy. And I got things to sell, too. Oh, well, I can actually sell the swords. Sell the Javanese figurine. And now I'll buy a shit ton of medicine. Thank you. Now I'll actually sell something here. I will sell the muscle drink so I can have some fucking bus fare. Motherfucker, I just bought a fucking truckload of, me of medicine. I don't want to hear it. You fucking cocksucking brick. Alright, first things first. It's time for us to go collect more case files. So you got a village you say up in the mountains? Never heard of it. You know, when I was just a baby, I never dreamed of living in the capital. We didn't have none of these fancy streetcars. So now you kids can scare you out to places like that Tsukigata. We are now chaos aligned. Okay, first off, we need to head to Shinoda. Whee! Head to the Nameless Shrine, talk to the Herald. Get some more case files, head to Fukugawa show. Wait, what? Photograph taken from here would indicate would include a good view of the shrine. Take a picture? Yes. Alright. If we can finally do that one. Herald, I summon thee! Blah, 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 blah. Go to Doji, has delivered a case file to the detective agency. You'll accept the assignment there, ex within. Therein, whatever. Thank you. Alright. Now, let's, um... Let's head on back. Let's see, I can either go to... Let's see, I can head to Fukugawa show and talk to, uh, boss, and also get another transformation so I can get into small spaces, or I can head to Ginza first. Uh, let's head to Ginza. Do 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 Ginza open up yet? Bad Ginza is closed off right now. No. All right, let's see what we got. Really? Another quake? Something's definitely wrong. Hmm. We really need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Alright, talk. Server requests pertaining to specifically the Devil Summoners for the case files. Thank you. Hey, kid. Well, could be a spark for blah, 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 blah. The world will be open to a different future, seeing which potential you'll unlock. Watch this this kid be someone important. I swear to God. I swear to God, if that blonde kid turns out to be Lucifer, I'll be surprised. Okay. D thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have the ability to ride to Rask. Goes this way up because of the streetcar accident. It'll be a while before the blockade's been lifted. 
Couldn't this accident, there are sure a lot of accidents going on lately. I'm not surprised. Uh, actually, instead of heading back to Fukugawa, let's actually go to Sakurucho and... Because I don't think I actually did, uh... Did the first request that I got from the Yakuza, which is probably a bad idea to actually ignore that. Also, I need to ride Tarask around to grab all the treasure I can get from the sea. Alright, back to the day agency. Let's see what's new. Uh, Narumi, where are you? I don't seem to see you. H holy shit! Talk about opening up files. Limits of the Macabre. Win bronze for giving you a Hiku Mushi who has, a hot, who has 10 hot luck or higher. I can't come up with a good ending for my novel. I want to exhibit... Exi want the exhibit to ha... <sighs> Let me try that again. I can't come up with a good ending for my novel. I went to the exhibit for some inspiration, but it didn't work. Not enough gore. Demons, that's what I need. An interview with the demons. Hiku Mushi would inspire me. Bring me an Hiku Mushi whose luck is higher than 10. Okay. Ghost customer, Lelange, Shea, and the Sky, low on stock, and photo needed. Fickle do by mistake. Now time to get... Do I even have any fickle do? No, I do not. Fire tower in the Kasukiyata village. What I need is Rakuyo Chalice. Do I have any of those? Nope. Well, then Shea, her magic should have to be tw higher than 20, and I get two diamonds. Ghost customer. Ooh, streetcar pass! Ida the cabbie. A hack buddy of mine said he had a ghost for a fair once or twice. On a sticky night, when he lets a little guy in the... Eh. When he lets a little guy in black in the cab, he disappears before they reach the destination, leaving a soaked seat. It always happens by a shrine in the south of the capital. Can you check this spooky fair out? Okay, so... Stocking up, world of plants, need a funny demon, wise demon, zombie highlander. Sword collecting, demon wanted. Stocking up, three. Gift from Uranus. What? Yadagarasu. There is a pendant that supposedly makes the wearer ill, inevitably leading to their death. A recent investigation has revealed that the pendant's jewel is, extreme, is dangerously radioactive. If you find the pendant known as the Uranus Stone, please notify me immediately. 32k. Jesus fucking Christ. Wait, what? Rido's current title's not high enough to take this case? Wait, that's a requirement for these? Oh my god. Well, here's your photo, Tay. Uh, I don't know where I can find a beetle. Still need the Mahjong set. I don't know which one this is. Ah. I have this, but I don't want to turn them in right now. Uh, don't know where I can get the herbs. Okay. Okay, so Take wants me to find Kuroi. I have no idea where he is. Okay, request for gems. I don't have an opal. I don't have the... Ugh. Ask Takeuchi for more info. Well, here's the thing. I don't have a Muramasa right now because I don't have the materials. Don't know how... Don't have the demon for that. Don't have the demon for that. Too ranky. Okay. We're actually going to do... Don't know where I can get that. Fire tower, okay. Low on stock, okay. Anyway. Time to get the streetcar pass. Because I'm sick and tired of paying for my bus fare.
Okay. We got... It's a good thing we did the... We got the, uh, fucking... Tarask early. Now we're gonna get the streetcar pa streetcar pass early. Ish. Well, at the very least, Chapter 4 is, uh, re relatively, uh, still early enough in the game. Come on, buddy! We ride! Well, uh, first off, let's grab this. Two beads! I like how fast this is. More bird lime? I will accept this. Now, how the fuck am I supposed to get this one? Well, that's familiar, that's familiar. Um, rather than just... Okay, I can't go in there. Okay, can I go up here? Well, yeah, I can. I'm being- I'm just being dumb. Okay, there's an item in the red light district. That I'm gonna have to go get. Let's see, is there anything here? Oh, hello! What'd you find? Ox Bozar! I'll take it! Hey, free diamond! Nice. I'm pretty sure if anybody looks out their windows, they're just gonna be just fine with Rido surfing on the water, seemingly. Yeah, I'm sure this is a perfectly normal sight. A schoolboy just randomly floating on top of the water, moving at high speed. Yeah, it's completely normal. Completely normal. Oh, God. I imagine seeing that would actually make someone question their faculties, at the very least. Okay, so I can still go this way. Aha! Alright, so I can come over here and get this. Speed of life! Okay, what the hell is over here? And then it's power sealing the gate. Interesting. Why do I got a feeling that, uh, that shrine is something for late game for me to do? We Hey, I can enter Harumicho. Okay, now let's head over here, because I think I saw an item. And I did! What's this? Magic incense! That was definitely worth coming over here for. Now, too bad I can't fucking use any of my shit. Be great. Well, we might as well enter Harucho. The Navy Seaman is patrolling. Doesn't seem like he can get in the way. Son of a bitch! Never mind then. I thought I could enter this place early. Alright then, I guess we'll uh, stop off at Kasumi Dai. Let's use up that magic incense, shall we? Yoink! Alright, reference, case file. Where am I going? It always happens by a shrine in the south of the capital. Okay. Then, actually, that's nearby, really. So I am in the right area, which just wasn't sure. Because for some damn reason, I can't access my fucking menu on the world map. I'm assuming it's this one, right? Training Hall South. What the? Hold 
the phone. I see someone that. Hello. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You are not telling me he's here. You are not. T oh, hi, Flamus. There ain't no goddamn way that's who I think I just saw. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Buying you two is gonna be a bitch. Oh yeah, apparently I can call us dizzy. So, how much uh, experience do I get for killing you guys? Wait a minute, did they change how the training halls work? I think they did, because why am I fighting elementals? No, 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 I did- <laughs> There he is, you son of a bitch! Ladies and gentlemen, meet the special Jack Frost of the Raido Kuzunoha. Duology. Hello. Woo, how, how, if it isn't right, oh. It's been almost three whole years since we he last met, ho. Wait, three years between the last game and this game? Now I can't tell if he's breaking the fourth wall or. Wait, yeah, he is breaking the fourth wall. You here haven't forgotten me, right? Say my name! Hi, Raiho. I couldn't meet you before because you're a New Game Plus exclusive demon, which pissed me off! <laughs> yep, I'm he so happy you remembered, ho! I thought he sure you would pretend to forget, but he... <laughs> he you were more serious, ho, than I thought. We ho! He's so glad you remember me. Oh, this makes all the he hard work on the sequel ho worth it. Yeah, he likes to break the fourth wall. He, oh yeah. What are you doing here, ho? You the ghost that rides the taxi? Oh, that's me, ho. I was all curious about the cars, ho. He's so curious. That accidentally he yelled out, Yay, taxi! I got so he excited that I already melted off he over two liters, ho. And every time this happens, you skip out on the fair and take off? Well, this got ridiculous fast. What should we do? Scold Raiho or ask him nicely? Oh, shite. I should actually do something smart here. And that is, uh, find him page. Raiho. Let me just scroll all the way. Here we are. Ah. Oh, so, okay. So, okay. This doesn't matter. We can ask him nicely or scold him. Let's ask him nicely. Hee ho ho. I've got he's strong. I don't have to ho listen to you anymore, ho. I'll keep ho riding the cabs for free, ho, too. That's right, ho. I'll beat ho ya. <laughs> Fuck! Trying to talk like a Jack Frost is hard. I imagine this is even. Wait a minute. Will Jack Frost's uh, speech be easier in Japanese? I'm actually curious about that. Because Japan likes to give characters uh, weird uh, speech quirks. That make no sense at all when they're translated or localized at all. I'll try. Let me try that sentence again. I'll beat Ho up and give myself the heat tile. Raiho, Raiho Kuzunoa the fifteenth. Let's go. Frost Raiho appears. And I actually need to change my demons. I'm gonna summon a lot of cute, scary demons, Ho. Get he ready, ho! Okay, Raiho is weak to fucking fire, obviously. 
Now the problem is, I don't have fire, do I? Oh wait, I do. Keep on the Tara. Replace, uh, McCoy. Okay, now, let's begin. Because I don't have Flamus with me. Strike. Pyrojack. I want you to spam Miragi on Raiho. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck me. Raiho fell asleep. Okay, that Samurai Frost attack is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's take care of you. And beat your ass. Oh, he sold him into That's great. Okay, and we need to use up a medicine on... Uh, let's actually... Yeah. Okay, that Samurai Frost attack is kind of adorable. Well, there goes him. Do I have anyone else with any sort of fire attack at all? No, I came in here like a fucking idiot. That's to be expected, honestly. Alright, well. Might as well use up another medicine. Oh, hi, Moshovu. Jindan, let's revive Ipon Batara. Okay, that, that, that attack is really starting to annoy me now. It's like, I get, I get it's your signature thing, buddy, but... Uh, Oh, hey, McCoy. Let's use a life stone on you. Oh, dodge out of the way, dodge out of the way. Alright, let's uh, use up another Ox Bozar. Need to use up some medicines here. Alright, they just care of that. 
Well, hi, Jack Frost. <laughs> Halfway dead. Yeho! The heat of battles make you melt a bit, ho! The excitement of a he good battle between he two devil summoners is too hot, ho! He half of my life is gone, ho, but I can still fight with full force, ho! Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just going to ignore you. Ow. I'm just gonna block this. Messing up. Okay, just need to get the proper fucking time to... Really wish I had a proper fucking time to actually, you know, attack. Okay, let's take care of you, because that's getting annoying. A pixie? I mean, what's a pixie going to do? Well, I shouldn't say that, because pixie has a reputation for becoming very fucking uber powerful in this fucking book franchise. And she could do pixie. Where'd you? Go? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Apparently, Dia scales when enemies do it. Nice to know. What the fuck, Mahakala? What in the name of the Lord? Okay, that's it. Beat of life, I don't care. Can I actually, you know, bring up the menu and not be stunlocked to oblivion? Mm. Wait, Tetracon? That's in a thing? Well, shit! I got fucking comboed to death because I got stunned. Oh, here we go again. Well, good news is I found Raiho. Bad news is I gotta do that all over again. That's great. Well, here's what I'll do. I'll do all that shit off camera. <sighs> and when we start the next episode, we'll take on Ryo. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Ryo Kuzunoa vs. King Abaddon. Next episode, we try fighting Ryo again. But until then, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all next time.